So blue light is good for you and blue light is bad for you. What's the facts about blue light? Hey, good optometry morning. I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor. And today we're talking about blue light, your eyes and sleep. So a decade ago, blue light was declared to be absolutely horrible for your eyes and your vision. And you were recommended to get blue light filters in your glasses to protect yourself against all this horrible blue light that's coming from our screens. And so parents and computer users thought, well, if I just go out and get a pair of blue light blocking glasses, I can use computers and screens as much as I want. But there's more to the story than that. But first, before we talk about that, we need to explain what blue light actually is. And so when we're talking about blue light, we're not talking about UV light or any harmful radiation that's actually damaging the tissue. We're just talking about blue colored light. And if you remember back to science days, you'll remember there's this spectrum of light and you use nanometers. And so when we talk about visible blue light, we're talking about the wavelengths between 380 and 500 nanometers. So truth be told, blue light is not a bad thing and it's a very, very important thing in our life. In fact, the biggest source of blue light in our world is the sun. It emits much, much more blue light than any device that you're using. So blue light is in very, very important in something called our circadian rhythm, which is our sleep and wake cycle. And basically blue light is a stimulus for us to wake up and be alert. And so when the sun comes up in the morning, you get exposed to a lot of blue light outdoors and that tells your body, be alert, wake up. When the sun goes down at night, then we are exposed to less blue light and that's a signal to our brain to shut down and start winding down so you can go to sleep. So we wanna be exposed to blue light in the morning and in the evenings, we wanna be exposed to less blue light. So I've been telling my patients that if you get blue light filters, don't wear them all the time, wear them in the evening or when you're using your computer, but during the morning and the, during the daylight hours, don't wear your blue light filter glasses. And so there's an interesting study that came out that actually explored this topic of variable exposure to blue light. And basically what they did is they created some new types of blue light LED lights, kind of like the lights that you might have in your room or in your house, that change the amount of blue light that you receive at different times of the day. Now the particular wavelength that affects our wake and sleep cycles is between 460 and 500 nanometers. And so they did a study and they took individuals and they said, what happens if we expose them to the regular amount of blue light during waking hours and after 6 p.m. let's expose them to a wavelength of light that blocks out that 460 to 500 nanometers. And basically the study showed that those individuals that had variable exposure to different amounts of blue light through the day slept better than those individuals that had one exposure of blue light all the time. So this is very exciting because it opens up the opportunity to have a form of smart lighting that gives us a different level of blue light exposure throughout our day to help us match our sleep cycle. But for right now, what you wanna do is limit the amount of exposure to blue light in the evenings, whether that means you're using blue light filter glasses or whether it means you're not using your devices as much in the evening. And if you're doing that, you're gonna sleep better and you're gonna feel better. And with that, have a great optometry day.